6 with iWork09, part 2. We're going to learn to enter a piecewise defined function. My name is Molly Crocker. Uh, this is a piecewise defined function that I grabbed from a book that I'm using, and we're going to reproduce it in math type. Our first step is to get our cursor to where we want the equation to be when we close the math type window. So first of all, let's type a return. It is already centered. Then I'm going to go up to insert and down to math type equation. My first job is to get this f of x notation. So f, use your parenthesis tool, then x, navigate outside of that or click on the outside of that, equals. Then we need a left hand brace, just a left hand only brace and not a right hand. So click on the brackets braces parenthesis menu and choose it right there. So notice that it's too small, but we can, uh, it will grow bigger as we add more lines of uh, equations. Our next uh, job is to make that fraction. It's a negative, then the fraction tool, then one. I'm using the tab button to navigate down there to the two. Now be very careful when you click outside of that. Notice that this is blinking underneath the entire um, equation that we've typed so far, which means that we are actually typing the next, the rest of this outside of that brace. You we want to be within the range of the brace. So type, so click very close to the one half, and then notice that the bar underneath includes just the part that's un, that's inside the brace range. So um, having done that, now we can finish typing the rest of our equation. X. Um, now I need to switch to text style, and I'm going to do that from the style menu, which lets me um, type spaces. Otherwise, math type just does not type spaces. It presumes that sort of formatting for you. And then the word if, a couple more spaces. Now if I type X, then notice that that X is not the same as that X because this is a text X, and that's a math X. So click delete. Go up to the style menu, switch back to math. There were key, there are keyboard shortcuts for these things, so you can pay attention to those and use those if you want. Um, if let's see, x the less than or equal to is right here, and then zero. Now I'm still within the brace range, not outside of it. I would be outside of it, and then if all that were underlined, so I'm inside of it. Let's see. Yes, there it is, inside. Now when I type a return, the brace expands to accommodate another equation. Next equation is x plus 1. Now I need to switch to text. And a couple spaces, an if, a couple more spaces. And back to math, 0 is less than. Now the less than is on your computer keyboard. So x, and now the less than or equals is there, and then a 2. My underline shows that I'm still inside the brace range, so type one more return. Slide this up a little bit, and type the last equation. 2x minus 1, and back to style, if, two spaces, back to math, x, the greater than is on your computer keyboard over the uh, period button. Um, and then there's a couple formatting issues. First of all, you notice this looks like there's a blank line down here. I don't know what math type is anticipating, but we can cure that and make it look a little tighter if we select, I'm going to start selecting up here. If we select that, then go up to the format menu and choose a line at center. Then the um, uh, the bracket or the brace is just as big as it needs to be and no larger. The other thing I would like to have happen is align my ifs right there, and I'm going to do that using a little bit different process. Now everything is still selected. Go up to format, align at. I'm going to choose that align. What it's actually doing is aligning up these less than the, the inequality signs. So there's our equation. It's all set, ready to return to our uh, document. 
expand it, make it bigger if you like. Delete the fuzzy looking one, and there you are. That's how you enter a piecewise defined function in MathType.